Americans are here and across the country fighting for union power. We're at Starbucks headquarters in Seattle because Starbucks continuously refuses to bargain with partners um, who have voted to unionize their stores. I've been with Starbucks for going on four years here in April. As time has gone on, they've made it more and more difficult to be a partner. Partners are facing severe hours cuts. A lot of folks are working under the 20 hour a week minimum to receive the health care that they originally started working at Starbucks for. Soy líder de la lucha por 15 y un sindicato hace seis años. Venemos de California. Creo que pasamos lo mismo a represarias, a acoso sexual, robo de salario, a discriminación. Entonces creo que es lo mismo que estamos pasando en el McDonald's, en comida rápida, como los de Starbucks. Por eso estoy aquí y vamos a seguir apoyándolos porque somos una misma familia. I work with the Inter International Association of Machinists and Aerospace Workers here in Seattle, 751. If you work for a living, you deserve to give your respect on the job. That should be a given, but um, CEOs in this country don't see it that way. They need to be held accountable, and that's what we're doing. Howard Schultz is the second of two CEOs who has given up on this company and run away from the power of the workers. We're celebrating today, not Founders Day, a man who says that we should have an empty chair in a boardroom instead of a worker in that chair to stand up for us. We know how badly we need somebody standing up for us and what we need in stores. We see safety issues, we see retaliatory firings, and just retaliatory behavior. They want us to work faster for the same amount of money, tighter schedules, and that alone is proof that they're based solely on their profits. If they cared about us and our respective communities, they would stop union busting and show up to the bargaining table. I continue to fight for those coming into Starbucks, food service workers everywhere that deserve a livable wage, consistency, safety and security in their workplaces. I've been a barista at Starbucks for about two years. In order to get full-time hours, I had to work overnight. There were no shift differentials, no guaranteed schedule. If there really aren't enough hours to create stable schedules for us at this multi-billion dollar company, why are we constantly understaffed? Why are we always hiring? I worked at yep. a Starbucks in Bellingham, Washington for two and a half years until I was unjustly terminated. I led the charge for forming a union at my store. We won our election in December, and immediately after that, shift supervisor hours were cut, putting our eligibility for Starbucks health and education benefits at risk. We organized in order to forge a hammer of change, a union, not a union on paper, not a union just in the ideas of people's heads, but a union on the shop floor. All these people are here from all across the United States. We have some people from North Carolina, we have some people from Detroit and Chicago. Everybody being out here in support is, it's nice, it's really affirming, it feels good. Lakshman Narasimhan is now the CEO of Starbucks. We demand that he sign the Starbucks Workers United Fair Election Principles, that Starbucks negotiate with Starbucks Workers United, and we demand that they respect our right to organize. <laughs> We will be back! We will be back! We will be back!